Vandana Shiva in a German maize field. Not so naturally maize, no? No. Ah. Now already the nature of these plants has changed. And the original maize plant would be that high and, uh, and the leaves wouldn't be so straight. They'd be falling over. But Vandana Shiva has no objections to this maize. It's grown traditionally. Its seeds have not been genetically modified. Nature or not nature, that's the question she's interested in. One little corn seed gave me this plant. And then I got five or six cobs, each with hundreds and thousands of seeds. This is an economy of abundance if I do not create non-renewability, if I do not make the seeds sterile, if I do not impose patent law that makes it illegal for farmers to save seed. This is not Vandana Shiva's first visit to Hohenlohe, north of Stuttgart. This particular region where we are is the last remaining area in Germany where small farmers are still farming. They're close to my heart. Therefore, when they call me to create a GMO-free agriculture, I will come. She has great hopes for this organically farmed field near Wuppertshausen in southern Germany. It's the site of a three-day rock festival called Rock for Nature. All the heroes of the worldwide battle against gene technology are here. The technology itself cannot increase yields. Yield is a multi-genetic trait. Many genes have to work together. The technology so far is only a single gene transfer technology. It can move toxic genes of Bt from a bacteria into a plant, but it cannot increase yields. So it can increase the yields of poison, but not of food and nutrition. Vandana tells members of the cooperative in the Schwäbisch Hall area how disappointed their counterparts in India are with the GM seeds they bought from the multinational corporation Monsanto and how they're returning to the old varieties. In India, we practice those better ways and I hope this rock concert will reach larger numbers of people who don't just love music but will also love the music of nature because peace with nature is about protecting the harmony with nature. The festival, organized by a cooperative in the Schwäbisch Hall area, brings farmers and rock stars together. Vandana Shiva maintains contacts with Indian cooperatives as well as Canadian and American farmers. They have driven 200,000 farmers in India to suicide. Here, we are celebrating the spirit of life. Wherever she goes, her message is clear. The genetic engineering industry now has Europe in its sights. More than half of the fields in the U.S. have been contaminated, and the genetically modified food is very dangerous. In 2007, some 8% of agricultural land worldwide was used for GM crops. The United States leads the way, followed by Brazil and Argentina. GM foodstuffs to feed the hungry in Africa? Concerts like these seek to alert people to say no thank you. Genetically modified plants and animal fodder? Let the customer choose. One reason why Vandana Shiva is so popular is that she's taken companies like Monsanto to court and won. I've been following Vandana Shiva's activities for years. She's a great inspiration to all of us. And she, she represents very much the heart of our movement. And it works very closely with the farmers and the peasants of India and brings that message around the world. We're on the farm owned by festival organizer Rudolf Bula. Vandana Shiva has known him for a very long time. His black-headed pigs come from India and are thriving on a diet that meets organic farming standards. Vandana says that nobody should starve. This much kilograms. I say you just have to put one, one creeper of pumpkin on the boundary of your feet. You're going to get 10 tons yeah. like that, you know? Yeah. And it's really nutritious. And, and, and it's nutritious.